wait, let's let's try that again. Hey guys, it has been so long. So 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 long. I can tell you how long it's been. Hold on. Going on my YouTube channel. I believe the last time I uploaded a video was like August. It was like August 20 something and it's been crazy so it's been literally over a year since I posted on this channel and we're almost coming up on two years which is really sad because now I'm looking at the comments and people are saying uh hello like is she still alive is she still there like what's going on hey <laughs> I'm still here still breathing my heart's still booming. I don't know booming. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Today I have a funny video for you guys. Well, I don't know if you want to classify it as funny, but it's funny to me because you guys have literally requested this video a thousand times. I did this video, the same exact video, three years ago. I posted this video February 26 of 2016, so it's been quite a while and a lot has changed since then. A lot has changed in this past year that you guys haven't really seen. What's in my volleyball bag three years later and I keep a lot of stuff, like a lot of crap in my volleyball bag, but somehow I kind of always need it. And here. Here is my volleyball bag. It is a little beat up because it is now the end of club season. Club season started all the way back in November and it's now almost May in a few days. So, it's a little tired. But this is my bag, it's pretty heavy. I keep my bag heavy because I have a lot of stuff in here. So starting with the outside, I think this is just like a Nike bag that came through my club. It's not a specific volleyball bag, but it's just a Nike backpack. So it has our club logo right here. And for those of you who don't know, I played at Sports Performance for uh, five years, I believe. And then I switched to uh, Chicago Elite in the city last year. And that's been really good. I really, really like it there. Here are some bag tags from the tournaments I've been to, just a few of them. Um, these are kind of like your credentials to get into the tournament. So here it is, let me hold it up. And then I have my ball attached uh, to my bag just so I don't lose it. And the back just has, oh! <gasps> of course, hand sanitizer because you guys know I that all of my treatments are disgusting. Let's get into the goods and actually see what's in the bag. In my top zipper right here, uh, let's see what I have in there. I don't even know. This is kind of a blind what's in my volleyball bag because it's not like I put everything back in here neatly and said, oh, I'm going to show them this, this, that, and that. Let me take out this and not show them that. No, I literally don't even know what's in here. So beware. I'm going through this blindly just like you are, so I don't really know what we're going to find. <laughs> but here we go. I have a bunch of these. And these are... Um, little electrolyte packets that I put into my water. Um, they just help me. They're kind of like Gatorade, but they're like better for you than Gatorade. It's not just like with all the sugar and things like that. Put them in all my water and it just is really good. People think it looks gross. It's literally yellow like Gatorade, but it tastes fine. It's like lemonade, but whatever. Then in my front pouch right here, that's usually where I keep my watch when I'm about to play and my necklace. I have in there some chapstick to use. You guys know from the last what's in my volleyball bag, I love chapstick. That has not changed in three years. But I also have my inhaler. I do not have asthma. Uh, my mom does. So just for an emergency. She always just keeps one in my bag for me. And then in the side right here, I have a ball pump. I have a Lululemon headband. I have another Lululemon headband. I have, what is this? <gasps> what the heck? No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> it's a smushed granola bar. That's kind of gross. Don't really know how long that's been in there. Volleyball is a long season for me, guys, so I really don't know what I have in my bag. So then now getting into this bottom zipper. This has a lot of different zippers and compartments. I really like that. Lacrosse ball to, I roll, like, roll out my muscles with this, specifically my butt, because my butt gets knots in and this helps. It hurts like heck when you're rolling out, but like, it helps. I have a room key to one of the rooms we stayed in for a tournament. 
This has so many zippers, I didn't even really realize this. Then it has one big zipper right here. Oh, I didn't even know this was in here. Well, I have my jersey because I just got back from uh, a tournament in Michigan. So you know how like when you go to a tournament you should keep both colors just in case? Well, this is the extra color we had in there. and It's red and it says Chicago lead on the back and it's number 57 because that's my number. Then I also have some Arnicare gel, which is pain relief gel. It's kind of like Biofreeze, but it's like all natural, so, oh, I think it popped. Ooh. That's nasty, look. It like pops, so it's like oozing out. That's disgusting. Ew, Schuler. And I use that, but instead of like Biofreeze or uh, Icy Hot, it's not medicated, so you can use as much as you want and it's not going to harm you or anything, which is great because <laughs> Self-harm, that's enough. <laughs> Obviously I love these. Another little package of my electrolytes. This was a little thing to my hair ties, but I don't know where they are, so it's just a tag. Garbage! Oh, I found my hair ties. So here's some extra hair ties, because mine are always snapping, and that's that's a no-no when I'm playing. So here's an extra shoestring, because I usually don't keep shoestrings in my bag, but a friend of mine on my team, you know who you are, she, her shoelaces are always breaking every two seconds, literally. So I was like, you know, what if that happens to me? So let me keep an extra one. And then for her, if she snaps, oh, if she snaps, if her shoestring snaps during a game, one day she's gonna be like, oh crap, does anyone have a shoelace? And I'm gonna be like, I got you, girl. Oh, I just have some papers here, and my team, uh, our assistant coach keeps stats. And after every tournament, uh, she gives us our stats on this paper. And this is literally from. <laughs> this is from the first tournament of the year. We're getting into the nitty gritty, people. Nitty gritty. The big pouch in the middle that has all the goods. All the good stuff. Got my knee pads. They're both different because I lost one. Typical Schuler. I need to clean them, to be honest with you. They smell bad. You know, the thing is, is that, if I'm being honest with you, my sweat does not stink. <laughs> Like, this might be weird for everyone watching this and you don't really know me. <laughs> like, this is gonna sound really weird. But it doesn't. Like, some people stink when they sweat. You shouldn't. If you stink when you sweat, that means you're not cleaning yourself and you're not using deodorant. So clean yourself, wear deodorant, and you won't stink when you sweat. Hence why my knee pads don't smell like death. Still not the greatest, but still. I have my ankle braces and my shoes. They were bright white, but they're not anymore, clearly. They're just the Nike Zoom, I don't know, I want to say Hyper Ace, but I feel like that's the old shoe. Whatever the new shoe is on Nike, the new volleyball shoe. Oh, and then I just use the active ankle ankle braces, same as three years ago. I swear by those. I got my elbow pads. I don't wear them in a game. I've been practicing since we dive and roll so much. I don't like to skin my elbows, so. So I have some more of my drugs. People think this is really sus, but let me just explain this to you. So they are sport salt, enhanced athletic performance and endurance. No, they are not some sort of weird pill like steroids or anything. It's literally salt in a capsule. Literally, that's it. And I really don't know how salt helps because it, like, salt technically dehydrates you, but yet it keeps you from cramping, which is really, really weird. So that doesn't really make sense to me. I recommend they're called Pure Planet. You, they're kind of hard to find in stores. They used to sell my whole foods and things, but they don't anymore. So I get mine on Amazon, and you should be able to find them. You can order them in bulk, or just one bottle, see if you like it. But I swear by these people. I absolutely do. I have this cute pat, a little patch. This is not a patch. Does this look like a patch? No, no, it doesn't. Here is a pouch, and it has a cute little pineapple on it, and it's kind of summery. I think I got it from Walgreens, to be honest with you. It's not some fancy dancy pouch. But I keep some of my essentials in here. Hairbrush, laid on edges. Um, I have some face wash, which I didn't even know was in here. Some mini deodorant. See what I'm saying? Stay clean, guys. Um, hand sanitizer, you know, as always. Makeup remover. That looks disgusting. So, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to hold this up. <laughs> so here's a water, but we're going to say it's water, but... It does not look like water, but just for sake of this video, we're just going to say it's water and move on. Okay? Cool. That's garbage. I know it wasn't urine or anything, guys. Like, that's disgusting. Oh, look at that. 
I have a resistance band that's in a package, so I haven't used it. I have a passing. Oh. I have a passing arm pad, which I don't really use for club. I use that for school seats and when I serve receive and things like that. One white knee pad or semi-white, off-white, whatever you want to call it, because it's not pure white anymore. I'm actually shocked there's not as much crap as I thought would be in here. So three years later, updated, that's what's in my bag literally right now. I did not pull out or change anything before I filmed this video. Just got back from a tournament, so it's a little bit on the cleaner side for me because I usually clean it out before every single tournament otherwise to be honest with you from changing from school to volleyball there's like underwear and like different bras and spandex and shoes and whatever stuffed in my bag but now that's all that's in there I hope you guys enjoyed you guys have been requesting to see an updated what's in my volleyball bag uh, video and I know you guys have requested to see a school one so maybe school season you'll be seeing something like that roll around please guys leave all video requests and video ideas or any videos that you want me to do in the comments down below. I really do read those and I love to kind of give you guys the videos that you would like to see. So give this video a thumbs up and I will be posting more frequently. That is a promise. I'm so sorry guys. It's been crazy. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! So I do not know why, what, what just fell on my shirt or what fell in my hair. But I was just looking up that video back and there's like a white speck here, a white speck here, and a white speck in my bun. And it's driving me crazy throughout the video. But I don't want to redo it because like I had all that crap in my bag. So please just excuse that. And now I'm a real human trying to survive too. And that sometimes I just get some specks on my shirt. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, man, the struggle.